Hey, uh, I have a lukewarm take today on Far Cry 5 for the Xbox One. Play on the Xbox One X because I'm a moneyed individual. And if you're playing on S or the original, get out of here. You're not playing with power. Uh, I got someone's random YouTube clip behind me. So um, I just beat it. Uh, the premise is it's an open world first person shooter. It takes place in a cult controlled Montana. And um, when this game announced it, had a lot of hype because people were like connecting it to like the alt right and Trump, but it's really not like that. It's a it's a cult with a Sunday school level understanding of the Bible, and they totally misconstrue it and believe they need to be the ones that uh, purify the world through force or drugs or whatever. And you go around and you disrupt things, and it's an open world shooter game. Uh, there's three sub bosses. You get in, you annoy them enough, they come after you. They come after you enough, you eventually take them out, and then you get to the top guy. Very similar to Ghost Recon, Mafia, or any of those open world games that aren't GTA. Uh, you can't really tell from this, but the game is beautiful on Xbox One X 4K. Um, they have a rendering engine that makes things look almost a little like Uncanny Valley, like it looks a little bit too real. But um, you get used to it, and everything's in first person. I would have loved a third person, uh, especially for the driving. But um, in this one, it has an increased prominence of um, your partners in the game. There's a, you eventually rescue about nine or 12 of them. Like they range from a bear named Cheeseburger to people that fly helicopters. And it, the control's basic, but it's fine. Shooting's fine. You die really quickly. Uh, so yeah, use a mixture of not really stealth, just not taking on everybody at once. And then you level up and that sort of thing. So graphics are great. It's a shooter that... This is the fifth one, probably the tenth one, if you include all the expansions. So, for what it is, it controls fine. You're either going to like it or you're going to hate it. Um, it. It's a little floaty for me, but it's totally fine. This is the first Far Cry game that I've completed. And it has that Ubisoft, like, let's just throw check marks all over the world. And um, I focused on the story for most part. It probably took me close to 40 hours to beat because I'm slow at playing games, I guess. I don't know. There was a couple of missions where I had to look up a YouTube tutorial how to get something to spawn, like you had to take out tanker trucks and they were never around. But the game was good. Uh, just like Ghost Recon, it's something that you can kind of tune out. Although this one has a lot better story, but the story's not as good as it should have been. Like the cult controlled Mantana and you gotta free it, that's perfect right there. Perfect logline. And they just do this basic revelation cult. And you hear the Amazing Grace song like more than you would at a church camp. But I got over it. The characters were okay. The bliss is the drug they push on people. Pretty much turns people into zombies. Um, it's fine. The characters are better than Ghost Recon or a lot of these other games. And that got you through it. You have a mute protagonist, which I'm really getting sick of. Even in Ghost Recon, they talked. But um, it was great. Uh, I enjoyed the game. This is a good companion piece to Red Dead Redemption 5, whereas that world was, had a ton of stuff to do. Um, it kind of stayed out of the way of the story unless you decided to pursue it. And this one, there's not as much stuff to do, but it will intervene in the story. Like, you'll see guys getting attacked by random bears, and you'll have a fishing mission or two, but, like, that stuff will encounter the world. I think in this YouTube video, they got, like, a bear stuck underneath their, uh, their car that they want to drive, which... This weird stuff like that happens. I think they patched a lot of it out. It used to happen like all the time and now it doesn't. Uh, I say you up that stuff. Up that weird stuff. Uh, there's the occasional open world jank, but well produced game. Uh, I got it for 20. Uh, I think there's a side story coming out this year for 40. Um, I will wait until it drops in price and I will uh, look at reviews and see how worthwhile it is. Uh, the story has a game middle and end. The end takes a huge twist, which they totally spoiled in the announcement of their side story. But um, it was fine. Uh, overall, if you like open world games, I'd recommend this. If you like stuff that's kind of stupid, but still like, it's at least trying, not like Just Cause, where it's like, oh, let's just throw it at the wall. Or Saints Row, same way. Um, not as much clear social commentaries I would have liked, but um, I enjoyed it. I will give this a 7 out of 10. I keep forgetting if I review things here. And uh, if you got 40 hours to kill on a shooter, um, open world, do your own thing, mute and watch YouTube, uh, 
I would uh, recommend it. So thanks for watching. I guess I'll keep doing these in 2019. Thanks.